Human activities like deforestation and the burning of fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gas are changing our climate in ways that pose increasing threats to human well-being in both developing and industrialized nations. We are already experiencing the harmful effects of the climate crisis, and we know that more severe damage lies ahead unless we act quickly. The good news is that we can still avoid the most severe impacts of global warming by reducing our emissions of heat-trapping gases and halting and reversing deforestation. However, as we work to reduce these emissions of global warming pollution by investing in renewable energy and by protecting our forests and soils, we must also begin to prepare for the changes already coming by working to better understand the risks and integrating these needs into our development planning. In these tours that follow, some of the world's leading scientists and practitioners will guide you through the risks of climate change and identify the opportunities for managing it. Since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, when we began to put heat-trapping gases in large volumes into the atmosphere, the global average temperature has risen almost one degree Celsius, and another eight-tenths of a degree is already in store for us because it's in the ocean and will be released into the atmosphere. If we were not to dramatically reduce our emissions, the global average temperature is expected to rise as much as four or more degrees Celsius by the end of this century, and that would cause severe damage to natural systems and to human health and well-being. Sustained warming of this magnitude could make hundreds of millions of people climate refugees because of coastal flooding. And as many as a billion or more people at risk of increased water stress, mostly located in the area highlighted here. Sustained warming of this magnitude would cause large-scale irreversible changes, including the extinction of up to 20 to 30 percent of the world's plant and animal species. Some of the regions most at risk for species extinction are areas that are expected to have the most species turnover due to changing climate. In addition, the destabilization and extensive melting of the Greenland and West Antarctic ice sheets, shown here as the number of days of Greenland ice sheet melting, has increased dramatically since 1979. And the disappearance of Antarctica's Larsen ice shelf and a dozen others warns us that the melting of large areas in West Antarctica and Greenland could cause global sea level to rise between 4 and 12 meters, with each meter causing roughly another 100 million refugees. In these tours, you will learn about the rising risks our changing climate poses to all sectors of society, including water supply, food production, and public health. During these tours, you will also learn about the range of available solutions. You will visualize a new world of renewable energy and see what individuals and communities around the world are doing to both reduce their carbon footprint and adapt to their changing climates. At any time during the tours, you can click pause to pause the tour and explore the maps on your own. When you're ready to join the tour again, click play and the tour will start where you left off. If you see this icon during the tours, you can pause the tour and click this icon to learn how that region is working to lessen climate change and adapt to the impacts. Use this tool to get started and learn about the risks of climate change and the opportunities for managing it. Use this tool to get involved and learn from others about how you can make a difference. The climate crisis is one of the most serious challenges facing the world today. To stabilize the climate at a level that will limit the rise in global temperature to about two to three degrees Celsius and enable us to avoid the most severe impacts, global emissions must be reduced by at least 80% by 2050. And that means stabilizing emissions by 2015. That will be very hard to be sure 
but the future of human civilization as we know it is at stake. The challenge is huge and time is short, but together we can solve it.